Well, we're on our way for another laser treatment from Miss Daisy. Miss Daisy is going to Positive Steps Rehabilitation in um, Rochester Hills. And uh, Miss Daisy rides in the back of the truck. Miss Daisy doesn't really lead well, but she follows well. And she likes to be with people. And we use this uh, towel as a sling under Miss Daisy's back. Um, because Miss Daisy's growing a little bit. And um, okay, she's almost 100 pounds now. So. No. Okay, ready? Yeah, but up in the up in the up in the back of the truck. And we're ready to go. Miss Daisy's very interested in the microphone as we're traveling along. She's pretty tactful and she likes to um, uh, smell and look at everything. She especially likes to um, put her head between the seats of the truck so that she can get a little air conditioning. My name is Dr. Terry Kern and I am a veterinarian who practices exclusively rehabilitation medicine and physical medicine. And so my practice is positive steps rehabilitation and therapy for pets. We specialize in pain management options, um, physical therapy options for animals and acupuncture. And one of the things that we've been doing for the last year and a half has been working with animals to fit them for orthotics and prosthetic devices. And that's been very rewarding work and a little outside the box and a lot of fun to see these animals recover. We've got like um, 26, 27 on the left, and then around 30, 32 on the right. So the right side is taking more of this a little bit more weight. Yeah. You're all right. You're all right. Okay. You're cool, baby. You're okay. Yeah, take it all above your head. Yeah. We're unwrapping her bandage so she can have her laser treatment. And just kind of a footy with a diaper and Gorilla tape and gauze and vet wrap and we work us so hard to get it all in and, um, and secure. It's just a toughie to get it ah. Good girl. Yes, I know you're a good girl. You're a good girl. Called Sicilian miniature donkeys, but they really come from Sardinia, which is off the coast of Italy. And underneath all of this here, she does have the Sicilian cross, which will go down the center of her back and across her shoulder. Right. And I don't know whether you're familiar with the fable or not, but anyway, as Jesus rode into Jerusalem on the donkey, and then the donkey stood faithfully while Jesus was crucified, the shadow of the cross fell on the donkey and it's therefore forever been marked with a cross. That's a fake oh. or, or the truth. It makes it nice. Really, very, very nice. Very, very nice. You're fine. Okay, kiddo. So, Daisy has a small wound. Um, it's four centimeters up. It's okay, a little, babe. little blood spot there. And we want to wash it out. And so, what I want to do is just rinse it after I've washed it off, but we don't want to really irritate her. I think he actually suspended her and dumped it oh. the last time. Okay, Daisy. So. 
Oh, you're being so good, pumpkin. She is a yes, yes, you is. are. It's, you are the most tolerant little girl. You're hanging in there. You're doing good. Yes, you're doing good. Are we doing good. Yeah. Are we using the um, hair dryer? Yep, we will dry it before we wrap it. Uh, this is um, a, it's a cold laser, um, and the cold laser uses light energy to stimulate um, the little organelles in the cell to produce more energy. So cells that have more energy can divide, they can repair themselves, um, so that way it promotes, it just speeds up healing, it makes the process um, much faster. Um, it also reduces inflammation. Um, and it also releases endorphins, so sometimes our arthritic pets, when they have the cold laser treatment, um, not only do they feel better because the inflammation is reduced, they like to take a big nice nap afterwards as well, so it helps. We've also been measuring her, how far around this joint is, and that number has gone down in size, so we actually have a tangible measurement of the inflammation has gone down because we can we, we measured it. Does that feel good? Oh. oh my gosh, that feels so good. You're getting all blown in style, huh? Yeah. This is too cute. Oh yes, yeah. hello, hello. Yeah. 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 Putting um, the pure honey, unpasteurized honey, on her uh -huh. wound to help her, and then we were using a newborn diaper. And then we have gauze. That wrap. Pink this time. Hot pink. <laughs> hot pink. Look at that. If we, if we could find Gorilla Tape that was hot pink, we'd have that too, <laughs> but we don't. <laughs> My right knee was beginning to go to sleep, had a little cramp, but uh, other than that, it wasn't too bad. And she's a little sweated up from the right over here, but uh, other than that, it wasn't too bad. And then this is an example of a hind limb prosthesis for a dog. So basically, this is the hock joint or ankle. So for us, it would be right here, and he's basically missing this much. So we need to make up on that dog the distance. The difference was about two inches. And so, hi, hello there. Um, so his kind of little stub fits right in here, and then you strap it on, it has to go over the joint so it doesn't just slide off and fall off. Kind of what Daisy's gonna get is something kind of like yeah, this of and it's and it's going to it's going to be a lot shorter but the part to attach on may be long just because she has a pretty long splint mm -hmm. bone